Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've got a lot of requests for videos on radio navigation, especially in numericals on VDF, VOR and NDV. So in this video, I'll talk about what is VDF. I'll talk about the type of questions you can expect in the exam. And I'll also talk about the topics which you need to study from this small radio nav instrument. So in VDF, you have four different Q codes which you need to know. These Q codes are the QTE, QDR, QDM and QUJ. So if you know what these codes mean, life will be very, very easy for you, especially when you're solving VDF, NDV, numericals, because these four codes are used in NDV numericals as well. So your concepts should be strong. And in radio navigation, if you know what the question is saying, and if you know how to plot that on paper, that's, that's all you need. So you'll be able to solve any question if you know what the question is saying. And for that, you need your basics to be strong. That's why I'm starting with VDF. And in the later videos, I'll talk about NDB and VOR as well. So let's start with what is the VHF direction finder and how does it give you the information you want? Let's dive into it. So this is the most basic radio navigate that was developed. What it does is that whenever a pilot transmits, it gives the true or magnetic bearing of that aircraft. That's it. So you ask for your bearing and it provides you with that bearing. Now how does this instrument give you the bearing information? So this ground instrument has an aerial known as the Adcock aerial and whenever you transmit this aerial senses the direction from which the signal is coming and the ATC then tells this direction or bearing to the pilot. So these aerials which you can see are the Adcock aerials. And from wherever direction your aircraft is transmitting will be sensed by these aerials and then the ATC gives this information to the pilot. That's it. Now there are certain codes which are used by the ATC to give this bearing information. And we as pilots should know these codes because that's how the ATC will share this information to us. So there are these four codes which are QTE, QDR, QUJ and QDM. Let's talk about these one by one. So what is QTE? QTE is the true bearing or direction of the aircraft from the station. Station means the position where the beacon is set on ground. Okay, so let's say this was our station and our aircraft is flying over here. Now let's find the QTE of our aircraft. So QTE is the true bearing from the station. Now to find the true bearing, we'll have to know where the true north is. So this is true north, right? Now the bearing from the station is always measured from the true north. And this is the line where the aircraft is flying with respect to the station. So my QTE will be this angle, which is almost 90 degrees in this situation. So here the QTE of our aircraft is 0, 9 or 0 degrees. And what is this? This is the true bearing from the station. So this is 0, 9 or 0 degrees true from the station. Wherever you get from the station, you should know that it is measured from the north and in the clockwise direction. Since we had true over here, we measured it from the true north. Okay, so QTE is the true bearing from the station. Yeah, so let's say I was flying in this aircraft and the ATC tells me QTE 0, 9 or 0 degrees. So I know that I am 0, 9 or 0 degrees true from the station. Okay, the ATC is talking about this angle, which is in yellow. Perfect. Now let's talk about QDR. So QDR is the aircraft's magnetic bearing from the station. Okay, QTE was the true bearing from the station. QDR is the magnetic bearing from the station. Now, if you have watched the previous video, you would know that the difference between true and magnetic bearings is known as variation. And how do we use variation? So we either add or subtract variation to the true bearing to get the magnetic bearing. Correct? So now if we wanted to find the QDR of our aircraft, what we'll have to do is that we'll have to see where the magnetic north is. So let's say this is the magnetic north. 
now the angle that we get from the magnetic north will be our QDR. So this angle will be the QDR. So here let's say this is 100 degrees. Okay, so the difference between QDR and the QTE is variation. Obviously, because QTE was true bearing from station, QDR is magnetic bearing from station. Both of these bearings are given from the North Pole. Either it's true north or it's magnetic north. It always gives us the bearing at which our aircraft is flying from the station. Okay, so from the station, the aircraft is 100 degrees magnetic or from the station, our aircraft is 0, 09 or 0 degrees true, right? So this was QTE and QDR. Now, another term for QDR is radial. Okay, so QDR can also be known as a radial. Now, if a question says that our aircraft is on a radial of 080 degrees, that means that the aircraft's QDR is 080 degrees. So 080 degrees QDR will always be measured from the magnetic north pole. So if this was the magnetic north pole, 080 degrees will be somewhere along this line. So if the ATC says that the QDR is 080 degrees or that your aircraft is on a radial of 080 degrees, then you can expect your aircraft to be somewhere along this line, which makes an angle of 080 degrees from the magnetic north pole. Understood? Now let's move ahead. So what is QUJ now? Now QUJ is the aircraft's true track to the station. Earlier we were talking about from the station. Now we have to talk about to the station. Okay? So let's say an aircraft is flying here and the pilot asks for the QUJ. So the ATC will give the track in degrees true, which if flown by the pilot would take it to the station. So it is the track. Now let's say the ATC gives him a QUJ of 150 degrees. So what this means is that if the pilot flies a track of 150 degrees true, which means 150 degrees from the true north, it will reach the station. So if this is the true north, and if the pilot flies a track of 150 degrees true, that means 150 degrees from the true north, it will reach the station, which is over here. So this 150 degrees is the QUJ. Okay, now let's talk about QDM. So QDM is exactly the same, but is the magnetic track. So QUJ was the true track to the station and QDM is the magnetic track to the station. So if the ATC gave a QDM of 180 degrees, it would be the magnetic track which if flown would take the aircraft to the station. Okay. Now for magnetic tracks, we know that we need to know the magnetic north pole. So let's say the magnetic north pole was over here. And a QDM of 180 would mean 180 degrees from the magnetic north pole, which would be this angle. So if the pilot flies a track of 180 degrees magnetic, it will go directly towards the station. And here again, the angle between the QDM and the QUJ is the variation, which is also the angle between the magnetic north pole and the true north pole. So I can either add or subtract variation from the QUJ to get the QDM and vice versa. Okay, so I hope you understood these four Q codes because these are very, very important and these will be used in all numericals, be it for NDB, VOR or anything. Okay, now for the exam point of view from this chapter, you can get these four Q codes. You can get the frequency range, which is VHF. You can get a question about the principle of operation. You can get a question on the accuracy. So this is very important. They can ask you what is the accuracy of a class B VDF, which is plus minus five degrees. So you should know all these four and you can get a question on the errors. So the type of errors you can get in a VDF are propagation, sight, attitude, fading and all. Okay, so let's now talk about a question. Okay, so let's say we are given the QTE, which is 137 degrees. And now we are supposed to find the QDM and the variation is also given to be 10 degrees west. Okay, so first of all, I'll get these four Q codes for you so that you know what's happening. 
Now, to solve any question in radio navigation, I would recommend you to start drawing. So in this question, we are given the QTE and QTE is the true bearing from the station. Right? So first of all, let's say this is the station. Now to find the true bearing, we'll have to know where the true north is. So let's say the true north lies in this direction. Now, QTE is 137 degrees. 137 degrees mean that this is the angle from the true north. Correct? So let's make the 137 degree angle. So this will be 90 degrees, a bit more than 90. Let's say this is 137 degrees. Now let's plot this line. So this is the bearing of our aircraft. So our aircraft will be somewhere on this line. Let's say it's over here. Correct? So this is what is given in the question. The QTE is 137 degrees. So QTE was the true bearing from the station. Okay, so now we have to find the QDM. So before we find the QDM, let's first find the QUJ. Okay, and you'll know why. So QTE was the true bearing from the station. Now QUJ is the true bearing to the station. So this green arrow was from the station. Now we want to find to the station. So it will be exactly opposite of this, right? So this will be the QUJ. QUJ is exactly opposite of QTE. And we can see this is 180 degrees. So if QTE is 137, QJ will be QTE plus 180 degrees. So this comes out to be 317 degrees, right? Now we have the QUJ. So QUJ is 317 degrees. Now to convert the QUJ to QDM, we see that the difference is only with true and magnetic. So QUJ was the true track to the station. QDM is the magnetic track to the station. So this is in degrees true. To find the QDM, we just have to convert this to degrees magnetic. And how do we convert true to magnetic? We use the variation. So we have variation west. Now variation west means magnetic west. So to convert from true to magnetic, we just add 10 degrees, which is the variation and the QDM comes out to be 327 degrees magnetic. So that is our QDM. Okay, so should I just repeat whatever we did? So we were given the QTE, which was 137 degrees. Now QTE is the true bearing from the station, correct? And how do we know the true bearing from the station? So to find from the station, first of all, we plotted the true north. Then we plotted 137 degrees, starting from the true north in the clockwise direction. So which was this green line. So that was a QTE. That means our aircraft is somewhere on that line. Okay. And we were supposed to find the QDM. So to find the QDM, first we'll have to find the QUJ. So from QTE, which was the true bearing from the station, to find the QUJ, which was the true bearing to the station, we had to add 180 degrees because both of those are exactly opposite. One is true bearing from, the other is true bearing to. So we found the QUJ. It came out to be 317 degrees. Then we had the true track to the station and we were supposed to find the magnetic track to the station, which was the QDM. So to convert from true to magnetic, we use the variation. And the variation trick is variation west magnetic best. So we had the true track, which was 317 degrees. To convert it to magnetic, we added 10 degrees. And the magnetic track to the station came out to be 327 degrees, which is our QDM. Okay, so the path we followed was that from QTE, we found the QUJ. And from QUJ, we found the QDM. Yes, you're correct. We can also do it by another path, which is first finding the QDR and then converting the QDR to QDM. So if we wanted to do it that way, we had the true bearing from the station. We wanted to find the magnetic bearing from the station. So to convert from QTE to QDR, we would have used the variation over here. And then we could have converted the QDR to QDM by just adding 180 degrees. Okay, so there are two ways to do this question. 
it's up to you whatever way you do okay so if you understood this question i am 100% sure you'll be able to solve any question you get on these q codes okay so in this chapter just make sure you know these q codes well now let's do a summary so qte is the true bearing from the station qdr was the magnetic bearing from the station so to convert from qte to qdr we either add or subtract the variation yeah so to convert from qte to qdr or from qdr to qte we use the variation similarly quuj is the true track to the station and qdm is the magnetic track to the station so one is true the other is magnetic to convert from quuj to qdm or from qdm to quuj we again use the variation so we either add or subtract the variation to convert from quj to qdm or from qdm to quuj now qte is the true bearing from the station and quj is the true track to the station so both are true bearings qte is from the station and quj is to the station so both of these are opposites now to convert from qte to quj we either add or subtract 180 degrees okay so qte to quj add or subtract 180 degrees and similarly from quj to qte either add or subtract 180 degrees because these are exactly opposite and same goes with qdr and qdm also so qdr magnetic from the station qdm magnetic to the station magnetic magnetic same one is from the station the other one is to the station so to convert from one to another we add or subtract 180 degrees so from qdr to qdm 180 or from qdm to qdr 180 degrees okay so if you understand this particular slide i am 100% sure you'll solve any questions on q codes you should be very very strong with this slide okay so this was the type of question you can expect in the exam if you understood everything from how i converted from qte to qdr and to qdm you'll be able to solve any question that is asked in the exam so you should know what each code means and you should know how to plot the question as a diagram because then only you'll be able to solve radio nav numericals so if you have any doubts any questions just drop it in the comments section or dm me i'll i'll be more than happy to help you and i'll see you next time thanks for watching